you could um, have it a rainbow beanie. You would just change colors every two rows. And the way this is, I just put a pom-pom here in the bottom. You could wear it this way. It's very warm. Keep your head warm. It's double dope right now. So I just unfolded it like this. You could also wear it with just a small fold or with no fold at all. And then it would be just like a big slouchy kind of a Christmassy kind of hat. So see, you can see how it would just be down that way. Um, or if you want, you could just fold it once to give you a little brim. And it's still kind of like that little Christmas style hat, okay? This is really warm. It's done with a half double crochet and just medium worsted weight yarn. I use the Super Saver White and the Red. I think this color is called Cherry Red or something. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's really easy. It works up pretty fast. And uh, this fits anywhere from a uh, child to an adult because it stretches. I hope you'll enjoy this tutorial. Please be sure to hit the like button and let's get the party started. Okay everyone, to begin our hat, this hat is perfect for using up all your scraps. You could change um, colors every two rows. I'm going to be using a size eye hook, which is a size 9 or 5.5 millimeters. To begin, I want you to leave a, t your, a tail maybe about 8 or 10 inches long. Okay, we're going to be using this to sew up our hat at the end. So you're going to do your loop stitch here. Okay, and just make sure you're able to move your yarn back and forth freely. And I move my tail here so that it doesn't get stuck here. I'm going to be using white and pink, but you can use any colors you want. And like I said, you can change rows after every two rows if you like. To begin, you're going to start by chaining 55 chains. To do our chain, we yarn over, meaning we wrap our hook around the yarn. And that's our first chain. So you're just going to wrap it around, pull it out, and that will be your chain. So go ahead and do 55 chains and we will come back and we'll start doing our first row. Okay, I finished doing my 55 chains. So now here on the second chain from the hook, I'm gonna do a half double crochet. I'm gonna wrap my yarn around my hook, doing a yarn over. Then you go into your chain. You're gonna pull out your yarn. There'll be three loops on your hook and you're gonna pull through all three. I can see here and then that makes your half double crochet I want you to do that in every single chain going across and you're gonna have 54 half double crochets once again you yarn over meaning you wrap your yarn over your hook you're gonna go into that set next chain here you're gonna pull out your yarn there there'll be three loops of yarn on your hook and you're gonna pull through all three of your loops. I want you to do that all the way across and when you come to the end I will show you how we do our second row and we're going to repeat row, uh, row two for the rest of the, our work. So go ahead and continue to do one half double crochet and every chain across. Okay everyone I've come to my first stitch here or my last stitch where I started to go up to your next row, I want you to chain two. So you're gonna go one, whoops, two. I got some of that yarn caught. You're gonna turn your work over. And now beginning on row two and from now on, you're going to be doing your stitches only in the back loop or the back loop of the chain, okay? So here you're gonna wrap your yarn around and in this stitch here, you're gonna see, see if I can show you here, you're going to move it there. You're going to see that it's that chain there. Right here. You're going to go into the back loop only. You're going to pull out your yarn. You'll have three loops. You're going to go through all three. Okay, and it's only in the back loop. I hope you could see that. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go into my next stitch. Back loop only. Pull it out. You can see here I'm only in the back loop. And I'm going to go through all of them. Okay. So you're going to do this all the way across. If you want to do it all in one color, then of course there would be no color changes. If you're going to be changing color, then at the end of this row, you can have two rows of each color, then you would change colors. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to be changing color. Um, and uh, if you have a different way you do it, 
then do it whichever way you're more comfortable. Go ahead and finish every single half double crochet here in every chain, back loop only to the end. When I get to the end here, I'm going to come back and show you how to change colors. It's, I don't know if you can see here because of the light, but it's going to start making that little ridge effect, okay, that we want. So go ahead and finish all your half double crochets. Okay, here I'm coming to my last uh, stitch here. So the way I change yarn, and you might um, do it differently. Um, for this, you could actually just leave the tail there. Um, it's up to you. I'm going to be just picking up the tail and there'll just be a little loop here because um, I'm going to be um, doing two, two, loop, two uh, rows of yarn. If you want to cut the yarn, that's up to you. Right now, the way I'm going to do it, I just wrap my yarn around my hook. I'm going to go into that back loop here and instead of bringing my white, excuse me, my pink yarn up, I'm going to grab my white yarn and then when I pull it out, it'll be the pink, excuse me, I'm going to pull it out there and now this part, my tail, I'm going to tie to the pink, okay, because I don't want this coming apart. And then I'm going to try to um, sew in that little tail. I'm going to drop that pink. I'm not going to cut it because I'm going to be using it every other row, okay, every two rows. So here then I'm going to go ahead and do my two chains. One, two. I'm going to turn my work over. And I'm going to try to bury this white tail here as I go, okay. So now I'm going to start doing the same thing here. I'm going to wrap my yarn around my hook. Let me lift my tail here. I'm going to go only in the back loop there. God, sorry, let me see if I can see. Wrap this around. I'm going to go in the back loop only. And I'm going to pull this yarn here so that it'll get caught in there. I'm going to pull out my yarn. There'll be three loops. I'm going to go through all three. Pull this here so that my tail could be uh, hidden in there. Going to go once more into my next loop here, the back loop. Pull out three loops, go through it again. And I'm going to do that all the way across. And then I'm going to come back. When I get to the end, I'm going to chain two and then continue doing this way. Then when I get to the end, I'm just going to pull my yarn up. There will be a little bit of here but that won't matter because we're going to um, um, gather it at the end. If you want to cut your yarn after every row you ever after every two rows you can I'm just going to come back and pick it up here. So there will be like a little stripe here and then the white. Um, but let me go ahead and finish and then I can come back and show you how that looks after a few rows. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do my two rows here and I'm going to show you how I pick up my yarn. And then I'm going to keep doing that alternating rows. If you want to change yarn, like if you have a bunch of little scraps, you can change yarn after every two, then go ahead and cut your old yarn. And then this way you could use up all the scraps you have. So go ahead and do that all the way to the end. Chain two, turn your work over and come and finish here. Then we're going to pick up the yarn here. Okay, I've come to the end of my row here. So now I need to drop my white. I'm going to pull up the pink here and you just want to make sure you don't stretch it too tight but you know what you're going to be gathering this in so you'll be okay. I'm just going to grab it here, pull my white taunt and I'm doing my two chains. I'm going to turn it around and here's where I'm saying that you're going to have that little line showing but don't worry about that because I'm going to be gathering that. If you're going to change rows, colors after every row, every two rows, that's you know um, an easier way to do it. And then when you come to your next two rows, then you'll pull this one up. So just have these little strips here at the end. And now I'm going to continue doing my alternating rows of half double crochets, just like this. Okay. Then when I come back on my next round, then I pick up the the white. To continue my next uh, two rows of white. So I want you to continue working these rows into this piece from here to the edge. It's going to measure between 15 and 16 inches. So this is just the same thing. Just keep repeating it 
until that piece is about 15 to 16 inches in height and then your width of course will just be your um, 54 chains okay so go ahead and do that I'm gonna work on that then we'll come back and we'll put the hat together okay I've come to my last row and yep I changed from white to red um, I decided I didn't really didn't like the way the pink was coming out so this looks a lot more Christmassy so here I finished my last row and if you measure across then it's almost it's just a little after over 15 inches so you want to do between 15 and 16 inches you want to make sure that you finish with uh, the opposite colors okay so that when you put them together the same colors won't be next to each other and when you do your big tail at the beginning I forgot to tell you you only need that big tail if you're gonna be uh, making every two rows a different color so since I was doing the other one um, so here you could do like a great way to use up all your scraps so now that I finished my last row so if I turn it over okay this way this is you can see the right side you'll be able to see how nice and pretty that side looks if you see the other side you see like these little red spots you'll be able to see which is the right side see how this one's so much neater so now what we want to do is that we want to put this together um, this is my right side so I'm putting the right sides together long ways this way the way I just finished and now if you want you can um, go ahead and either put them together with the red this way or with the white if you want you can cut this off and you can sew them together um, what I'm going to be doing is that I am going to be bringing my red yarn up here okay and pulling that yarn out now here this white piece I can go ahead and once I get my red yarn out I can go ahead and cut that yarn and tie it here okay because I don't want it to come apart make sure I make this nice and taut there and now when I I am going to be doing a slip stitch all the way across you don't have to do that if you want you can sew that these are my right sides are together facing each other so since I'm right here I'm gonna see if this works it doesn't always work with this way but now I'm going to be bringing in my hook on this side I'm gonna grab that yarn there okay so I'm gonna pull it through and now I'm just going to slip stitch go through the top this one and go to my top white layer I'm just gonna pull it through I'm gonna slip stitch that this will have to be sewn in and I'm going to go all the way across that way you're gonna to go to your next stitch here your next chain and go to the next chain back here I'm gonna pull through both of those and you're slip stitching all the way across and this is how you're going to join it if you want to use a um, single crochet you can but it's going to add we want to keep the ridge that same ridge pattern going so I feel that sewing it or doing a slip stitch works better so remember when you slip stitch you just go in okay oops I missed a little piece there then go through the rest and pull it out so go ahead and continue doing that all the way to the bottom and remember there's it's going to be the same you know because there's one chain in every space here and now this is putting it together see so go ahead and do that and I'll come back and then we'll show you how we gather the top so slip stitch your um, your chain shut your hat shut if you want to do a single crochet if it's easier for you you can do that as well it's totally up to you okay so I just did all my slip stitching fastened off and these I'm going to sew in my tails and I just thought hey if I added blue this would make a great patriot beanie so anyway this is still the wrong side the right side is inside this is where we were pulling carrying our yarn on top so this is the side we want to close off I've taken a piece of yarn about maybe I don't know 22 inches and I put it on my favorite big fat tapestry needle so what I'm going to do here now is that you're just going to um, basically go up and down here and go all the way around 
make sure you don't pull the yarn through okay so here you're gonna have to hold these so that you can tie these together so it doesn't pull out I'm just gonna leave it like that for now and tie it at the end so I'm just gonna go up and down see here's where the yarn we we're pulling you don't have to worry because we're gonna push that to the inside okay so I'm just gonna go all the way around and you can use a white or red or you could use a different color if you want I just wanted to do a coordinating color just keep going in and out in and out all the way around remember this is the wrong side okay coming up here to the end here's my other end and now you're gonna pull it shut okay I'm gonna pull this little string a little bit more here and you're gonna just try to tug it as tightly shut as possible now I'm gonna tie make a knot here because I tie it as tightly as possible Can add this yarn here this is the inside the wrong side okay and sometimes what I like to do to make sure I'm not going to have a hole opening I'm going to take my yarn and I'm just going to go through the up to the top to make sure that I get both so that there's not a hole there this is not necessary because you don't have to do it but I'm just going to do it because I don't want there to be a hole and now I'm going to make my knot just tie it off there but now I'm going to get my needle and I'm going to put it through the middle here and take it out be very careful when you're turning your hat over you don't want to um, hurt yourself with that needle there see how it's there now I'm going to pull oops I don't want it right there I want it to be like more there in the middle okay I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to use this string to attach my pom-pom I'm going to make a pom-pom, a big pom-pom with white and blue, and I'm going to put it here. And it kind of looks kind of like a candy cane, if you could see. Okay? These tails have to be sewn in. And what's great about this hat is that it's really long, so you could just wear it like this, like a long, slouchy kind of hat with the pom-pom uh, in the bottom. Or, this is really good, this hat is really good for really cold climates, because you can bend it over, fold it over, there, fold it over again, and you're going to have a really, really thick brim. You can either put it higher. And you, uh, I mean, this keeps you super warm. So now I'm going to go, I'm going to have, I'm going to leave my um, needle here. I'm going to make my pom-pom with white and, um, the white and red. I'm using the clover pom-pom maker. If you don't have a clo clover pom-pom maker, there is a tutorial on my channel on how to make a pom-pom without a pom-pom maker so I'm going to go ahead and make my pom-pom the big the large size and then I'm going to add it here and then my hat will be ready okay if you don't want a pom-pom you can leave it there I think the pom-pom makes it look a lot nicer so see you're just going to be having your hat this way see and if you want to wear it just long like kind of like a nightcap you can do that too so let me go ahead and add my pom-pom and you'll see it finished okay everyone my hat is done I put the pom-pom on and I attached it you know sewed it off to the bottom cut the strings and now like I said you can fold this up so you could wear it there like that like a wide brim if you want to wear it just like a long kind of like a pajama slouchy hat you can let me get the um my little wig head here so I can show you what I mean if you want to, you can just wear it um, like that, like just slouching down, right? This is her head, and it's just slouching down. Some people like that. Um, so it's totally up to you. Or else, let me fix my camera here so I could show you. Or else, see this one's just like your head's there. It's all slouching back like a slouch. Or else, if you like, I like putting, um, folding it down. And this is really long, so you can fold it really wide. And this is going to keep your head super warm. And then, of course, you would just put it on your head. 
and you're all set. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please be sure to subscribe and hit the like button and get your friends to subscribe. I really need your help to build my channel. So if you could just share my videos with your friends and family and get them to subscribe, I would really appreciate that. I hope you had a great day and this is another simple, fun and easy hat. It's perfect for right now for the winter. And this one's super long, so you can wear it this way or just wear it long. Thanks for watching and have a great day.